So hi everyone, today I will be giving you some information on data models. So there are two common data models called as the conceptional data model and the logical data model. So let us look at each one a little bit in detail. The first one is a conceptional data model. A conceptional data model represents the entities and relationships. So be it a business, be it an application, you need to repress there would definitely be different entities and relationships between entities to give you a little tip you can always imagine an entity to be a name place or a thing so let us look at what is an entity an entity is a real world object which with while a relationship is an association or a dependency between two entities so within your business and within your application you would have many entities and between these entities there would be a lot of links and relationships between them so this is what the conceptual data model consists of so let us look at a detail imagine there is a college application so can you identify the entities so as i said it can either be a name a place a person or a thing so within the college environment you have student you have subjects and you have staffs of course you have many more but this is just an example and a snippet of a small example so you can take the student subject and staff to be as entities and then between every entity you're having certain relationships and this relationship can either be an action usually it's a verb an activity or an action for example the relationship between the student and a subject is a student enrolls for a subject the relationship between a subject and a staff is the staff teaches a particular subject so that's be that becomes a relationship between the staff and the subject Similarly, for staff and student, you have the relationship as a student reports to a staff. So this is an example of how conceptual data models are built in order to understand the various entities and the relationships within the environment, within the um, you know, system or your application or your business. The next one is a logical data model. A logical data model describes the data in a very much detailed form when compared to the conceptual data model. Also, it does not have any dependency on how it will be in the physical data model. So if you don't know what is the physical data model, the physical data model comes after the logical data model and that's the ultimate data model that is built having the database in mind and it's totally built by the database administrators. So that's the final and the clear and detailed version of your data model. So comparing it with your physical data model, it does not keep any database management system into account. All it has to do is specify the details, that is the relationships, the entities, etc. much more in detail than your conceptual data model. So when you look at the components of a logical data model, you will have a, a foreign and pr primary key, relationships between entities, it can be one-on-one, -on -one, one to many, etc. You can have entity attributes and tables. So when you compare this with your conceptual data model, the conceptual data model does not have primary and foreign keys. It also does not specify the attributes of the entity it just mentions relationships and the entities so here is an example of a logical data model so in this logical data model of course you would be having entities and these entities are represented as tables and within every entity as i said you would be having a set of attributes so when you look at the entity student these can be some general attributes of the student the student id name department date of birth year of study and course and also when you look similarly for the course these can be the attributes the next one is as i said the logical data model would also have primary and foreign keys so here you have the primary key and you have a foreign key also so this is also incorporated in the logical data model as well as you also have relationships and as I said, relationships are also mentioned as one-to-one, one-to-many. -to -one, one -to that details also are included into your logical data model. So when you look at this example, 
a student can be tied up to one course but a course can consist of many students so these are the one to one and one to many relationships so let us look at the differences between the logical and the conceptual data model so as i said the conceptual data model defines what the system contains while the logical data model defines how the system should be built not taking into consideration the dbms so as i said when you look at the conceptual data model you would understand what is in that model what is in the business or in the environment you would understand the entities and their relationships but when you go to the logical you would see how the system would be built how does the entities how does the entities attributes how does the primary and foreign key link with other attributes linked with other entities how does that work it's little more detailed and it focuses more on how rather than what the next one is the conceptual data model consists of entities and relationships while the logical data model consists of entities relationships primary and foreign keys and attributes the next one is the conceptual data model is created by the data architects and the business stakeholders so as i said the business stakeholders they are not or sometimes may not be all that technical so usually it's the business stakeholders and the data architects who are technical people but need to understand the environment of the business need to understand the entities that are you know uh existing in that particular system or in the business to understand these relationships and what is contained in this environment the data architects and business stakeholders create the conceptual data model looking at the logical data model it's created by data architects as well as business analysts so it's a little bit more technical so business analysts come into place in order to create the logical data model the next one is user er diagrams to represent data sorry it's uses er diagrams to represent data so to represent this er the conceptual um, data model er diagrams are used the next one is when you look at logical schemas are used to represent the logical data model the next one is the purpose is to define the business entities their relationships and roles so the purpose of the conceptual mo data model is for defining entities relationships and roles while you look at the purpose of the logical data model is to develop a technical view of the data structure so when you look at the logical data model you would have a technical view of the various entities the tables the relationships the keys and the attributes you would have a more technical view into it and how do they relate to each other the next one is it is the first step of data modeling so as i said conceptual data model it's the first step of defining what the system has and when you look at the logical data model it's done after the conceptual data model so keeping the conceptual data model in hand the business analysts and the data architects they create the logical data model and once the logical data model is built it's then converted into the physical data model which is basically done by the developers and also database administrators so this is a little bit glimpse of the conceptual logical and physical data models so as business analysts or product analysis you would mostly be finding yourself in situations where you might have to create er diagrams and then you might be have to put out certain high level of a schema with all the various tables and relationships so that's the difference so whenever you do um er diagrams it's nothing but conceptual data models where you're actually defining what the system has and when you're moving on to you know build it schemas and tables and relationships you're going a little bit more into logical data models and this would be used for developers also to understand the system and to refine this data model and to construct the um you know the a well clean version of the physical data model that can be used by your system and application so that's it for the data models and i hope that this video was little useful to you so if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do subscribe to this channel and also do share your feedbacks thank you